So what did you think of it, Kiko? The Pandaverse. Ah, uh, not as funny as I thought it would be, but <laughs> hit on all the relevant points. <laughs> yeah. Now, Call Me Chato did a video on it, and he had a bit of a different take. He said South Park actually missed the mark on this. As much fun as it was, they did miss a key component, and he made a good point. I don't care. I still like the heck. I still enjoyed it, but uh, what he said is the mark that they missed is where Disney hates on their present audience and starts looking for an audience that doesn't exist. And yeah, that element they didn't hit on, but still, I mean, how that's uh, I'll take what we can get at this point, you know. <laughs> I will call that a cultural win. Well, I did find the depiction of that alternate universe where everyone was a female of color. <laughs> <laughs> Quite hilarious. I've never seen it gone to that extent, but I think it was kind of to the extreme of that. But yeah, it's, it was fantastic. Now right. you know, you need the second image. The second one? Yep, the one right after it. Oh, they jumped. Oh. Stop it. No. Work, Cursor. This Work. Uh, one small there. swipe for Wrangler. One giant swipe for Angler kind. There we are. Okay, here we go. A tweet from the tweet, right? This is the tweet. All right, from Gina Carano. And it says, I'm This back. is the part where KK demands any YouTubers get centered off of YouTube for sharing and laughing at this hilarious episode. She'll have YouTube disable all thumbs down options because of the ratio she'll receive. Then she'll have her publicist ghouls make sure Variety and Hollywood Reporter run hit pieces about South Park creators and their families, smearing their names, smearing their names through every useful idiot she has under her thumb who would sell their soul to work for Lucasfilm. She'll activate her online mob to repeat that South Park creators are racist, bigots, transphobes, and demand that South Park creators publicly apologize by only using words she approves of. And finally, she'll demand. They subject themselves to a re-education course of 45 people in the LGBTQ community Zoom call to sit there and listen of how to how badly they got their feelings hurt over all the little boop of South Park episode. But maybe, just maybe, the jig is up. <laughs> Do you know what would be awesome? If they said, yeah, come in for one of these struggle sessions, and they, and they said, okay, and they go in there, and all they do is start <laughs> laughing at all of them and making fun of them. All right, I'll go burn this bitch to the ground. Woo! <laughs> Honestly, it's not too far from. If they're like, you get to do a struggle session, like I can see okay, Trey, but you don't want me to do that. Into them. I'm gonna sit there. I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna turn into asshole and say insensitive things on purpose for my own entertainment. No, you no. want me to I'll join? Disney. I'll Disney's join. Already trying to sue them. And how the fuck Hello. do we even have words like this? Yeah, I think they read out. Weren't they trying to sue them over the, the when they done like the Jonas Brothers shit? Like Mickey so Mouse. many people have tried to sue them, very few succeed. Such as when they did the worldwide pavacito, pavacito. It's the worldwide pavacito. <laughs> Actually, I just, I just want you. I want Disney to go harder on them and do smear pieces so they'll do more episodes of shit on Disney. <laughs> I do feel that South Park has gotten a little bit softer than in the past. In they have. They, it they, has. They weren't as hard knuckled as a lot of people thought they would be. But I kind of see why they wanted to have some kind of try and make you see both sides because that's what they do. So they had to have Cartman and Kathleen Kennedy like uh, reach some kind of agreement in the show. But it was just well, kind of hilarious. Like you got Cartman and Kathleen Kennedy. 
in agreement as multiversal variants of each other. I mean, <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> Make it lame and gay. Put a chick in it. Make it gay. Put a chick did, in it. Make it game. Did, did you watch? And make it the, lame. <laughs> did you watch the two movies prior? So I I just registered to Paramount Plus yesterday, literally just to see that movie. But I watched the one prior to it with the streaming services. Have you seen that? The streaming wars. Mm, yeah, streaming I did wars. not. No. I found that one way more hilarious. The, the I, funniest, I saw the, the, funniest I saw the joke future one. Cool. The funniest joke that still holds up to this day is the when they had Macho Man <laughs> fucking uh, entered like the world's uh, like the the women's Olympic or not Olympic, but it was like the local whatever competition. And you have like the one woman who she's like all excited, and then he's like, "All right, I'm going to introduce you to your uh, opponent." And then fucking Macho Man, <laughs> Macho comes Man, out. Randy Savage, <laughs> and he gets a woman now. Oh, yeah. Make it lame. <laughs> If I pull that up, we might actually get copyright strip for that. Yeah. But it's so fucking hilarious. Yeah, so does anybody care if we have spoiler discussion on this? No. Nope. All right. Yeah, it opened up with uh, Cartman having nightmares about everyone he cares about being <laughs> replaced with diverse women who complain about the patriarchy. Well, he also has his mother check under the Eric, bed. Kathleen like, Kennedy Kathleen is not Kennedy hiding under, under your bed. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's Which, great is he up. has Here's a... The thing. This is why I, I would say this is why South Park is great because it does joke on both sides, which makes it even yeah. better. Because there are, let's be honest, there are channels that are like that with Kathleen Kennedy. So oh, the, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You know, well, she's well, the boogie woman. Well, that's yeah. where I think they didn't go so far, uh, too far with it, right? So the Cartman replacement was a heavier black woman, but not a, an obese black woman. Oh, and, you wanted them to go further? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I, I thought I thought the alt universe Cartman was freaking awesome, especially after she has the guys running around getting using underhanded tactics to gather up all this computer shit. And she's like, no, we need more internet speed. And then finally you got everything together. I'm like, okay, and I'm in. And what are you doing? Playing Baldur's Gate. I thought you were trying to get back home. It's like, I'm not a quantum physicist. I don't know how to do that. I just want to play Baldur's <laughs> Gate. And and Kyle's like, you are Eric Cartman. <laughs> what was it? The only criticism I really heard was that they didn't go too hard on Bob Iger. I... I don't know about that because it was funny how they kept having him cower to Kathleen Kennedy on one hand. And then when the real Kathleen Kennedy comes back and says, no more pandering, he's like, sure. And almost like he, I, I, I got the impression that he was crossing his fingers behind his back if they were that into the animation of it. But, <laughs> no, but it, seriously, it, it looked like he, he wanted to go do more pandering himself. The hold way he up, said they, it, so. hold up. They could have it looks like they left it open for him to be the next big guy <laughs> of the Pandaverse. Listen, they could have had the animation there. They had an animation of Macho Man's Randy Savage dick and balls. <laughs> like stuck to his pants, fucking flopping when he's doing his dancing and shit in the skull room. 